great. It makes you so, feel like you're eating shredded paper. Yeah. <laughs> I'll ring them. I'll ring them for you. <coughs> Give me the phone. I'll Give ring them, them for you. <laughs> I'll tell them what I need to do. Is this the best router in the world? Let's go, Ruby. Genuinely think though, this router is like it's groundbreaking. So here is the Hakoki Multivolt cordless router. We'll be going through the good, the bad, and the ugly. And if you stay till the end, we'll be answering a few common questions that we were asked on our social media channels. Let's go. We'll go for it in just two ticks. We need a coffee first. <sighs> I'm very cold. To be winter morning. 2024. Happy first year, first video of yeah. 2024. Happy, happy, happy New Year, I haven't said to you. My, my issue is though, when do you stop saying it? Because for the next month, everyone says it. I think in, until I'm Monday when I'm back June. at work. I think, it's, I think it's the first time you see anyone. I'm going to say it till June. Happy New Year. Yeah. <laughs> All right, mate. <laughs> oh, it's off this summer. Happy New Year. It's going to go well, <laughs> isn't it, that? Right then, so we're going to take you through now and show you some of the features of this router, which has become incredibly popular with lots of carpenters, kitchen fitters and joiners since it came onto the market. And the reason for that being, it was absolutely revolutionary for a half inch cordless router to come and actually be powerful enough to cut your kitchen worktops. It takes obviously the smaller size battery, which is the 2.5 to 5 amp, but also the 5 to 8 amp battery. Each one will give you a varied amount of cut time, but even with the smaller battery, you get through about five or six joints in a kitchen, so you really only need the one. But for me, I think it was a huge game changer because it was the last tool I needed to get rid of all my leads. Yeah, so, we we're both completely cordless. Yeah, yeah. And this is definitely, it's led the way into the market. I know some of the other brands have started to follow suit now and add a half inch cordless router to their arsenals. But this was definitely the first, and in my opinion, the best. So what I'll do now is I'll teach Sam how to use this jig because last time we got it out and I first got sent it, neither of us, neither of us had a clue how it worked because it didn't have the standard width locator peg positions on the jig, but now I know what I'm doing with it. So jig is clamped in place and because we are only doing a 25 mil worktop, what we're actually gonna do is do it in one pass. Now normally you would do three or four passes depending on the thickness of your worktop. To show off the true power of this cordless router, we're gonna do this male joint on the end of this jig in one pass, and this is an old bit. So there you go, how easy was that? Not sped up, <coughs> in real time, and it absolutely munched its way through the worktop. And not only that, but we're gonna flip it over now and see just how clean of a cut it's done on a full depth cut in one pass. This is where you realize just how much technology has advanced in cordless power tools, because that could not have been any easier. Full depth cut in one pass, and look at just how clean that cut is. And what makes this router so good and versatile is you can change the half inch collet to a quarter inch. Such a great feature for something so compact and yet so powerful. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take it a half inch, change it for the quarter inch, and we're gonna put a bit of edging on a bit of MDF just to show you how easy this thing is to use. I mean, I don't know about yourself, but when you have the bigger, bulkier ones, like the olden days, you couldn't really hold them. No, it was so awkward doing cabinet a... joinery and things like yeah, that because yeah. they were so bulky and heavy. So I think it's a great demonstration on showing you guys just how easy this is on the edge of a bit of MDF. Key thing to remember, when working on changing your cutter or your collet, disengage. It is seconds to change it from the half inch to the quarter inch. Quite simply, just a case of undoing the nut all the way off. Now let's pick a nice little molding cutter just to run on the edge of this MDF. Let's pick a fancy one, Sam. Which one do you want to use? I don't know about you, but opening these, taking the wax off these feels so satisfying. Yeah, yeah. How sad is my life? 
The great uh, thing is about this, this means you only have to have one router in your van. Yeah. You haven't got to carry the bigger one, the smaller one. This does all. Before the days of cordless, we would all have several. We'd have a big yeah, one that yeah. we use predominantly you just your for your kitchens. You carry your leads. This takes away all of that. And it also means less weight in your van. And let's face it, when you empty your van on the evening, you've just got one box rather than two or three. Now what we have got to say. Win, win. Is this bad boy. So there we have it, compact, lightweight, easy to use, no tipping, pretty much the perfect router in every single way. So now we've spoken about all the good points, there is one, I wouldn't really say it's a bad point, however it's something that you do need to know when you're buying one of these. This 30mm bush guide doesn't actually come with it, so this is something that is sold separately. So if you're thinking of buying it for next day delivery, for you to your kitchen, worktops, whatever, and you're gonna require a 30mm bush guide, just know that you've got to buy one first. Yeah, and you can actually get this one, which is the the one that fits perfectly for the Hakoki that comes from them, or you can actually buy an adapter for the Trend one, but you have to do that through eBay, yeah. which we will stick a link for in the description so that you can get hold of it if you need one. Now, Dave's got the one from Hakoki itself. I've actually got the adapter. Now, this adapter means that I can go and buy all of the Trend ones that are off the shelf. So it's, again, it's something to think about when buying the Hikoki router. So as far as we're concerned, this is probably the only negative and the only downfall to what is an absolutely brilliant tool. So the question is, is this the best router in the world? Do you think it's the best router in the world? We'd like to see what you think in the comments below. And if you think you've got a better one, tell us. Thank you for watching.